money, man. here at the new Mac Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Monday? I'm doing great. My girl's doing great. My family's doing great. I hope each and every one of you are doing great through these crazy, chaotic COVID holiday times. If you could please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button so you get all my videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description of all my videos. So, ask no longer. I give you what you ask for. Millhaven Penitentiary. Now, I've been there twice in Millhaven Assessment Unit, which was reception. I was there 05, and I was there 2011. No, early 2000. Late 2011, early 2012. Both times, it's formidable looking. When you come in, you see the rifle towers. If you're lucky enough to be on the goose, nowadays you're pretty much always getting moved in a paddy wagon. You don't see anything. But back then, you were on the gray goose, which was like a chartered bus. You got to see everything. So when you drove in, you saw the big rifle towers. You saw the vans driving around. You drive up to that big gate, it opens up, you drive in, you come out, and you walk down a hallway that's like a, you know, a quarter mile long, it smells like death, and there's signs on the wall talking about body fluid spills, you hear the stories about the $80 that you need to have in your account is for your body bag in case you're killed, which is not what it's actually for, but if you are killed, it will be used for that, and Millhaven is just infamous you know Millhaven is the home of J unit Millhaven opened in 1971 you know at the time Kingston Penitentiary had just had a riot I think it was you know it was supposed to open a little later but the Kingston riot had just happened which kind of expe expeditiously opened Millhaven and uh, you know that's how it went it Millhaven was home of J unit from 1977 and 1984, it was the home of the Special Handling Unit. Before that opened in St. Anne de Play Archambault, which is actually the twin prison of Millhaven. Not St. Anne de Play Archambault. And uh, Millhaven is just an infamous prison in the country of Canada. J Unit, along with Edmonton Max were known as the two most serious maximum security prisons in the country. Anytime you make a mistake, it could cost you your life. I know somebody who personally lost their life in Millhaven over a carton of smokes, a debt that he was prepared to stand up for and fight. He lost the fight, he hit the ground, and it cost him his life. But he stomped his face and beat his brains in. And that's what happens in maximum security. Nobody is coming to rescue you. This is the real deal. Now, in 1972, 14 inmates escaped, cutting the fence and boogieing. <laughs> Imagine the, how bad the conditions have to be. Remember, if you're in a federal maximum security prison and you run for the fences, they'll take you out. They'll shoot you dead. So the risk you're taking... Imagine what the conditions must be like inside for you to want to take that. Obviously, a couple of those dudes are just crazy dudes who live for that kind of crazy. There's always a handful of those guys. But I bet you if you ask most of those guys why they were running, they tell you because it was horrible there. Now, in 1974, Edward Nalon killed himself in the back seg. This was on August 10th. 1974 like I said and this is what infamously sparked prisoners justice day along with the Kingston riots lots of other hunger strikes 
lots of other work refusals that were going on at the type because of horrendous conditions. Remember, back at those times, there were no touch visits. There was no TVs in the cells. In a lot of places, you couldn't even talk. Food was horrible, just dirty conditions, overcrowded, tiny little cramped cell spaces. You know, no love at all, just harsh, harsh, harsh conditions. Remember, uh, Kingston Penitentiary was built 175 years ago. You know, it's not really built for housing people with the kind of human rights there are these days. So Millhaven Penitentiary was the answer to that. The problem is it's still a maximum security penitentiary. So I'm going to have to look at my notes a little bit here. You know what I'm saying? I, I did some research. I did some research. But I personally, like I said, know somebody who lost their life there. And over the years, many people have lost their lives in Millhaven Penitentiary. And here's just a couple of stories. 1985, Warden Al Stevenson had to be protected 24 hours a day by the OPP because of real threats on his life. The Warden and Archambault had been killed in 1978, obviously because conditions were unacceptable. People were tired. People don't just go after wardens and start taking out wardens for fun. If that's, if that's what's happening, there's a reason why that's happening. And there's a reason why they're taking that direct kind of action. And it's because they don't feel like they're being treated fairly, even as criminals. What can you say? You know, In 2004, the Court of Benches in Alberta basically let a guy go on self-defense for having a weapon and killing somebody in prison stating that it was okay for him to have that weapon that weapon protected him it set precedents and case law and because of that it kind of went crazy all around the country resulting in multiple stabbings over that a period that period of time at Millhaven and you know crap just got crazy there a lot October 12, 2010, inmate is shot by staff. I remember the story. He was shot in his neck. He had been attempted to get stabbed in the yard. He was not happy about that, so he ran back to the block, grabbed a big, dirty chase buddy down onto his block, lit him up. The cops shot him because he wouldn't stop. And in maximum security, if they have an open shot on you and you're trying to kill somebody, they will take that shot. Keep that in mind. There's more stories relating to that coming up. October 12th. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. December 2010. There was a 120 person riot in the yard where they barricaded themselves into the yard. You know, it was 24-hour riot. Obviously, there was tear gas. There was round shot. It was crazy. It was mayhem. And like I said, that is maximum security. That is what you sign up for if you go to a place like Millhaven. You go to a place like Collins Bay Banks. You go to a place like Kent. You go to a place like Renews. You go to a place like Stony Mountain. Any of those places, Donnacona, any of those places... It can get real, real fast. And these are just a few stories just to point out to you how quickly things can go real bad. March 2011, two inmates attack one inmate in the yard. I know the story really well. They refused to stop. The guard shot down. It ricocheted off the ground, killed the inmate. And that was the end of it. Nobody, no repercussions for the guard. You know, you're trying to kill somebody. They're, they have the right to take that shot. They will get in no trouble. They will bury you in a grave. You'll get your funeral, and that will be the end of it. Nobody will care. Nobody in the system will care. You'll just be another statistic. So be careful, man. And this is just a few stories. There's obviously been more stories. Just recently, there was another murder at Millhaven Penitentiary late this year. The person who got arrested for that murder is somebody that I know personally that I did a lot of time at Joyceville with and I actually thought had turned his life around, had changed. Now this is a certified killer, somebody who had killed multiple people in his past. But still, you know, you see somebody carrying themselves a certain way, 
You think they've moved past all that. And then you hear about them attacking somebody in Melhaven and killing that person. And I'm thinking to myself, like, man, you're already on this body. You already were on one body before. Like, man, you really don't want to go home. It's like another one of my homies that also was on a body and got caught for another body when he was on the inside. And it's like, prison can do that to you, you know? It can make you lose all hope in your life. It can make you lose all focus. You know, these guys got kids. These aren't, these aren't, these aren't guys that are just random dudes with no families or nothing. These guys got kids and they saw no hope. You know, at the end of the day, it's not, it's not my choice to live. They're big boys. They knew what they were doing. They took that consequence because of their actions. And that's facts. That's something you got to live with. And in maximum security, sometimes that's the way it is. Sometimes somebody might call you out on your stuff, man. And you got to fight. And when they hit the ground, you might go a little ham. They end up losing their life. And you're charged with murder now most likely you're not going to catch life you might catch a life if it's a, if it's a blatant a full it on murder on camera like you intentionally went in there to murder but i don't really know the story there's not a lot of clarity when you read online about stuff in canadian prisons they seem to keep it pretty sh hush hush there's just bare minimum somebody murdered at this prison on this day that is it. Obviously, I share my stories with you guys so you guys don't have to go through these things yourselves. If I could snap my finger, nobody goes to maximum security again. I would obviously do that, but that is not possible. Life is hard. People are going to continuously break the law because the opportunity just isn't there for everybody. And sometimes people feel like they got to do what they got to do. So who am I to say, man, I've been through that myself. I just make these videos hoping that I could try to deter somebody before it ever gets to that point. Millhaven Penitentiary is a scary place, man. It could cost you your life. Many people have died there. I remember hearing stories from the old school boys telling me that back in the 80s, there was years where 8, 9, 10 people died in one single year in that place. Crazy war zone, low population, lots of tension, lots of violence, and you're expected to go. No half-stepping in max. It's not easy to get there, but once you get there, it's almost impossible to get out. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get all my videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description of all of my videos. Millhaven Penitentiary. Bath, Ontario, close to Kingston. You drive up, it's a scenic route. You might see some deers outside eating piles of apples. As soon as you see those double razor wire fences, those vans driving around, the big rifle towers, you know sh about to get real. And real it'll get. If you are going there, stay on your toes, stay focused, stay on point, no slipping, maximum security. Peace out. Love each and every one of you. The new Matt Clark.